Uh, Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rukar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, personal word, truth, and sincerely. And shalom on to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, personal word, truth, and sincerely. And shalom on to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe. That be like unto the speckled bird, Christian word, truthfully and sincerely. I say, Shalom to you, I came out there. And this is another sit down lesson through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahusha on this September 22nd, 2022, at 1.47 p.m. Central Standard Time on this uh, Thursday afternoon. And this is a news article in the news, and this is regards to. Uh, Wars and rumors, of wars and rumors, of wars, as the scriptures have said. And this is a reference scripture to this news article right here that I'm about to bring up. And this is a, uh, once again, as I mentioned, this is a news article from RT.com. World News, uh, published September 22nd, 2022, at 1244. And the highlight of this news article, and it reads, Poland wants more NATO troops. It says, Russia, uh, Russians protect partial mobilizations should spur the West to deploy more troops near its border. And, you know, that comes uh, a day or two later after uh, uh, President Vladimir Putin made that statement about you know, partial mobilization in areas in Ukraine and uh, calling up about 30, uh, 300,000 reserve uh, armed troops on standby in that region as well, too. So that goes to show you uh, another increase of rumors of wars is heating up. And I uh, forgot to mention to say uh, Russia. President Vladimir Putin sent that warning to the West as well, too, uh, in uh, response to nuclear uh, response, if it comes to that direction, you know, you know, he's just sending a warning, so that's an increase of a rumor of war right there, I just had to note, add a few notes to that, but continue on with reading, it says, Russia's a uh, partial mobilization should spar the West to deploy more troops near its border. Right, because I believe in Eastern Eastern uh, Europe, you already have U.S. soldiers deployed there and other uh, soldiers as well, too. I believe Romania troops and other uh, Eastern European troops as well, too, are already stationed there. But Poland wanted more, you know, according to this report right here, uh, Poland wants more NATO troops. And it says Russia's, Slaki, I'm going to read it for third time, Slaki for that. It says Russia's partial mobilization should spur, spur uh, the West to deploy more troops near its border. Poland's security chief has said. And it says, uh, Russia's announcement of a partial military mobilization is a sign of defeat and pose no threat to Poland, but should be responded with the deployment of more NATO troops in Eastern Europe, according to a Pal Solskjaer, a top Polish security official. And in connection, in connection with this mobilization. We must press on for a increase of Allied presence on the eastern flank. This is a additional argument for having an additional NATO troops in the east. Uh, Slow Slowish said in a interview in the graffiti program on Polsat News on Thursday. It says uh, Russia. President Vladimir Putin announced on Wednesday that some military reservists will be called up to active service 
to help with the country's military offense in Ukraine. The measure is necessary because Russian troops are facing not only Ukraine itself, but also the entire Western military machine. Putin argued Swokshis, if I pronounce that right, who heads the Polish National Security Bureau calling the Russian move evidence of Putin defeat and questioning the ability of the Russian's defense minister to call to arms of 300,000 people as it attends to. It said, ask whether Polish security will be compromised by increasing the number of Russian troops. He said that it won't, but Ukrainians may, Ukrainians may feel the effects of this mobilization in a few weeks. It says the Polish officials branded uh, Putin's speech announcement the news as a rhetoric escalation of the conflict with the West, citing a very large threat of using nuclear weapons. It says Russia president said that Russia will not hesitate to use any means at, at, at its disposal if attacked with nukes or other weapons of mass destruction. The warning, the warning was addressed to an unarmed an unnamed senior official in NATO states would, according to Putin, argue that it would be acceptable to use nuclear weapons against Russia. This, uh, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet, right? Because we're seeing a rise and increase of these uh, rumors of wars. Matthew 24 and 7. For nations arise against nations, and kingdom against kingdoms. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. So, yeah, you can see a rise, increase. Just like I mentioned, you're going to see a rise and increase of the wars and rumors of wars. You're going to see a rise and continuing increase of uh, uh, rumors of wars and nations rising up against different nations and different kingdoms as well, too. Now, more than ever, you know. So with that, this was just a quick uh, in the news, as, as usual, on this uh, September 22nd, 2022, on this Thursday afternoon at 1.55 p.m. Central Standard Time. So yeah, these things are definitely going to increase in the news on an everyday basis in regards to uh, wars and rumors of wars, nations rising against different nations and different kingdoms as well too you know as i stated before so with that i hope this was edifying through the spirit power grace and mercy of it how white and first and foremost i want to give uh, all praises and glory and honor to to yahweh bashem yahweh shah bashem wakakadash double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone who are preaching this word truthfully and sincerely and Shalom to Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, uh, that be like us, like a speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say uh, Shalom and a ball, ball, ball.